Hi you guys, it's Wendy coming to you with a project share. Uh, this particular journal has um, not really a theme per se, but mainly just a color scheme and it's meant to be purple and green. Uh, so I went to, and um, altered a book called Lost and Found. And of course I've got my little tassel here that's made up of the green and purple ribbons and fibers. And I've attached this cute little kind of lime green button. And then this is my cover with the scowl that's got the, she's got wings and she looks like she's kind of holding a flower and she's got leaves and there's a little coffee cup on her head. And um, I thought she was kind of cute and whimsical. So a quick flip through of the inside, um, lots of spaces. This particular page, I don't know if you can see, it says this book belongs to Thought it would be nice to kind of personalize it. Um, we've got a pocket, another pocket. Um, this I've backed with, made it into kind of a little writing or journaling card, and it's just an image of flowers. And on the back, space for oop, space for writing. Um, some scrapbooky paper. Uh, this is from a vintage children's book. Um, it seems like whenever it's green, that I am finding lots of nature images. So that's kind of just what I went with. I've got some stickers I utilized. And this um, image of a uh, tree. I've got this little card that folds out and that's of course got a little pocket and a tag. One thing to watch for if you guys are into journaling is all the things that come in the mail. This, um, came from Sierra Club, and it was one of their little free gifts for donating. Sometimes they'll do nice little postcards or note cards, and this time they did these little note pads. So I thought those were kind of cool. I have an ATC that I've utilized, and a children's book image. This really beautiful fairy type image that's an envelope. An ATC. envelope. Um, this is from a book on um, poetry and literature that is related to gardening. I thought it had some really beautiful images in it. And this is from a children's book. A little note card that folds out for writing. A little pocket I've created. Of course this folds out for writing. Um, this is a piece of scrapbook paper that I have hoarded forever. It's from Stampington Design, and I loved Lynn Perella's uh, collage scrapbook papers were really pretty back in the day. A children's book poem, a little list pad, and a phone message pad. Lots of spaces for writing. Uh, this is a thrift store envelope that came in a huge packet of <laughs> random envelopes, and it's just gorgeous. It's got the deckled edge, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's metallic as well. Little pocket, some ledger paper, little pocket here, a little tuck spot rather. This is from a kid's book on how to deal with parents or family members being deployed in the military. And so it's kind of a cute little area that I cut out. It says, um, you know, paste a photo of a family member here. Some paste paper, a quote. Um, I did some stuff with stamps along certain edges of papers. A list pad, an envelope, little tuck spot. It's hard to see, but a lot of these pages are metallic. Got kind of a metallic finish. An envelope for tucking things in. Um, pocket. This cute little list pad with the dogs on it. I missed a page. I'll have to go back and grab that. We have a list pad. This cute little a chickadee card that folds out for writing. Beautiful envelope that's got some pressed petals in it. 
Um, this is also a card that flips up for writing kind of fairy type images. Just a little tiny file folder that folds out. Lots of little nooks and crannies. Here's another little card. Sometimes you take things as they come, like this particular package of note cards actually said like from the desk of Kathy. <laughs> um, and they're beautiful otherwise. So I just cover over stuff that I don't think is relevant. Um, here's some uh, cute little pocket I've created out of morning glory and a quote. Pretty little tag that I've attached there. Um, um, Montana, state of Montana map. It's a pretty little envelope that's got a doily on it. An ATC with a crow. Another ATC. Lots of little pretty spaces for writing and tucking things as per usual. Uh, this came from a book on sewing and embroidery. Another little envelope. Tuck spot. Just another piece of ledger paper. Beautiful note card. Uh, experimentation with um, spraying ink on papers. Beautiful little pocket made out of lace. Here's the other side of the Montana map. A uh, beautiful little pocket I've created. It's got the little hummingbird there. Planner page. Here's some more of the stamps I've used to decorate. And again, this is what I mean by kind of using what you have. This was um, something somebody gave me, and it has kind of school supplies <laughs> along the edge of these journal cards. And of course, I don't really want that, and I don't like those primary colors. So I just put something over them works just the same. A National Geographic image. Uh, this came from a mother's planner book. Um, uh, this came from a Jerry Garcia book. Um, so it's kind of psychedelic kind of stuff. It's his drawings and paintings. Uh, calendar page, page a day art calendar. Coloring page gardening book with the hydrangeas that have this page from my kids book uh, these are my beloved child craft <laughs> encyclopedias and this is um, on superstitions and holidays throughout the world got this little pocket it's kind of a cute little area uh, hide something in there children's book gardening page, children's book. Uh, this was a really beautiful, I thought, image of a field of sunflowers done in black and white. Here's from that mom planner. She's obviously way more of a go-getter as a mom with the high heels and the champagne and um, gardening book, gardening book. A little pocket here with the floppy disk holder and the time punch cards, a fern tape coloring page, and some painty papers. We have this beautiful image from a children's book, and then the other side was equally as beautiful. Every once in a while, it feels like you've won the lottery when you find that. Um, the Carolyn Kennedy poetry book that I've used in multiple journals at this point children's book image of lightning. This beautiful tissue paper. Just some pretty scrapbooking papers. An image from a, I think a National Geographic. And that is it. So, I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys and hopefully you're doing well. I'll be back when I have my next journal done. All right, take care. Bye-bye.